All right, out in the boat today. Um, second time I've had the boat out. First time I had the boat out, uh, William schooled me with one crappie. It was a tough day. We only had an hour to fish, but the boat floated. So today we made a longer journey, fishing with my dad today. Dad, say hi to the world. Hello. Um, so we're here right now. We're trolling, doing some trolling. I've caught one little walleye so far. That's the only bite we've had. Um, but we're hopeful. We're hopeful that we are going to catch more than that. I don't know how much footage I'm going to get. I forgot my chest rig, and I forgot all, basically all my GoPro mounts. I've got one small mount. I'm going to try to make work. Might get some footage. May not. Either way, it's going to be a great day on the water. Um, I'm going to probably do some slip bobber jigging. Crappies should be a little shallow spawning, so we're going to try for them later. There's some nice perch in this lake. So hopefully we get into some of them. I'm planning on keeping fish today, which means I'm probably not going to catch anything to keep um, because that's just kind of the way it works. Either way, it is beautiful. Mid-70s, light breeze, sun is shining. Oh, I got a fish on my other line. Um, hold on, I think. Maybe. May just be hitting the bottom. I don't know. I got a crankbait over there. I might have just hit, might have just hit some structure. Oh, there's a tree right there. So, okay. Probably going to get snagged up. Anyway, we'll see how much footage I get. You may see some fish here, you may not. Either way, we'll see. All right, I got a nice fish on. Actually, yeah, I killed the motor. what we came for today. is a walleye. All right, so we just, Dad, this guy, just said that we haven't had caught any kind of catfish yet. Look what I was lucky enough to catch. Giant flipping bullhead. Look at this thing. Whoa! He's in the lake now. Bullhead. It's fish. <laughs> And he thinks it's hilarious. He's big. Yeah, he was. I'll take it. Push on. Oh, Grandpa is officially a happy man. Because he caught... Show the beast up here. Hold the beast up. He caught a walleye. Grandpa's favorite fish. First of the year. Nice. So that's the spread. I'm running a crankbait and a spinner. Crankbaits were really producing early. Uh, that's what I caught my nice perch on. That's what I caught my walleye on. Um, but I think we're moving a little too fast for the spinners to really do their thing. Since I slowed us down, I put on the trolley motor, slowed us down some, and um, we've had two bites and two fish on the spinners. So um, just a half a mile an hour, I think, is all the slower we're going. Uh, slower than we were going before, but, you know, sometimes that makes all the difference in the world. So uh, Grandpa's got another fish on. So oh, as I'm bass. wandering, it's oh, gone. it's gone. He lost it. It was, um, it was a bass, and we hadn't caught a bass yet today, Grandpa. Oh, I got one on. I got fish on. Here. Hold that. Don't push that on top of it. Yeah, fish on. Watch where we're going. Like a walleye. 
those walleye. Little guy though, not, not big enough to keep, but walleye. So, um, gosh, she's just a little too short. All right. Again, just trolling spinners. So spinner and crawler, that's all there is to it. Um, again, crankbait on the other, and since we've slowed down, we've caught like five fish on that and not a thing on the spinner, so. It is what it is. Grandpa's got another fish going. Uh, nope, he lost it. All right, so, and not to say we won't catch a fish on the crankbait going this speed. I, I mean, the fish are hitting the spinner at this speed. They'll hit a crankbait at this speed. It's just not going to dive quite as deep. So I might need to let a more, little more line out to really get it down where it needs to be. Um, we'll see. So, fish are going. Up here, shallow, actually. Um, another fish? All right. Okay, back to fishing. Okay, a little bit of an update. Let me turn this a little bit. A little bit of an update. In the past, oh, Grandpa's got a fish on again. We have caught probably a dozen or more, probably more than a dozen walleye in the last five minutes. I don't know. We have, we can't keep them off. And they're all about, uh, this is Grandpa's newest one, that size. Maybe up to about 12 inches. Maybe. They are dinky. But they're fun. And I've got, I think I got another one going. No, he got off. So, it's kind of non-stop walleye action right now. They are not big. But they're fun. And that's what we're here for today, is fun. Here for some... Going oh, back in. I got one biting again. Grandpa's going back in. And I got mine. And I'm going to tell you that this is going to be about a 12-inch walleye calling it right now. Maybe 10. Let's see. That. Called it. They're fun. And it doesn't matter whether we are in 8 foot of water or we are in 28 foot of water. Um, we're getting bit almost as soon as our lines get down and they are all that same size. So. Big sardines. <laughs> big sardines, Grandpa says. Big sardines. And I got a tangle. So now I can't fish, but, oh, there we go. And I had to re-rig because somehow my swivel came undone and all, my whole rig ended up at the bottom of the lake. So, all right. Oh man, there is, I see about 30, Grandpa's got another one. No. Oh, oh, he doesn't. I see about 30 fish on the depth finder scattered out here. Bet I know what they are. I can't even get my other line rigged up. I'm trying to get a second line in the water. And the fish aren't letting me do it. Which is a good problem. Alright, to be continued. Um, you know, it's been a really good day. I, I used to take days like this for granted. So Dad and I used to come out... Um, we were just trying to figure out earlier how long it's been since just he and I were fishing in the boat, uh, especially here in Iowa. Um, it's been a long time. We, and it's weird because we used to, every weekend, this is what we did. Um, before, before marriage and kids, um, even a little bit when they were really young, um, it was more often. We just don't. We don't do it anymore. Life is busy and it gets in the way um, of fishing and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm not complaining. Um, it just, I just miss days like this. We've been on the water since about 8.30 this morning. It is now 1.30. I got about another hour left before we uh, decide to pack it in and um, it is just, it's been a, a good long day of fishing. I uh, got quite a few fish in the live well, a couple bluegills, crappie, perch, walleye. Hopefully we add a few more before we're done here, but um, it's just been, it's been good. And like I said, I, I took those days for granted and I, I wish I didn't, 
uh, but you know, life changes, and then, and I think, I think so many people feel like they're sacrificing when when their life changes, and and they are to some degree. But you know, I I haven't sacrificed this time for anything bad. It's it's not like I've I'm I have traded fishing time with my dad for terrible things. It, that's not it at all. Uh, I've traded it for time at church. I've traded it for family activities. I've traded for taking care of my own property, um, all those kinds of things, doing things with the kids. It's good. It's good time. It's just, I miss these times. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to leave you with today. So I've decided that this is, I'm still fishing. So, um, I might have some more fish footage before this is over. Um, but change is okay, but you know, make time for the things that are important too. So that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you next time.